Hello guys, once again welcome back to another Android app development tutorial. In this video, here I am going to show you how to implement swipe views using ViewPager. The ViewPager is a widget that contains a number of child views and each child view represents each page. You can use fragments for displaying each of these page. So we can start with a new Android Studio project. Here I name it as swipe view demo. Select an empty activity. So here our project is created in Android Studio. So first here I am going to add a view page to the activity main.xml. The view pager is not the direct part of Android framework. It is available with the support library. I specify width into match parent, height also match parent. Now specify an ID for this. I name it as pager. Okay. So <clears throat> here uh, I'm going to display each page using a fragment. So I have to create a separate fragment. So create a new fragment. Select blank fragment. I name it as demo fragment. Uh, there is no need of these factory methods. Okay, now in order to identify each pages on this layout of fragment, here I am going to add some text to view. Uh, here I place a text view into this fragment. Uh, this text view is for identifying each page on the view pager. Okay, so now we need a separate adapter for the view pager. So you have two options. You can use fragment pager adapter or fragment state pager adapter. You can use fragment pager adapter if there is a limited number of pages. That means a small number of pages. And you can use fragment state pager adapter if the number of pages is uh, indetermined or there is a large number of pages. So in this example, I'm going to use fragment state pager adapter. That means suppose we have a large number of pages to display. So I need a separate class for the adapter. So I'm going to create a new Java class. I name it as uh, demo fragment collection adapter. Now this fragment, this class extends fragment state pager adapter. So here you need to implement some methods. You need to implement these two methods: get item and get count. <coughs> Suppose here we have hundred pages to display. So I pass the count as 100. So here we have an error because uh, this need a constructor with a super keyword. Okay. So from this method, we have to return each fragment object. So here we have 100 fragment object. So I'm going to create an object of the demo fragment. New demo fragment. Now I'm going to pass some string to this demo fragment so i need some bundle object new bundle so i'm going to update the variable position by position plus one this is because the position variable start from zero okay so now uh, i'm going to attach some message to the bundle so bundle dot put string specify the key as message now pass the message hello from page and display the page number so here we can simply display position now we can attach this bundle to the fragment so demo fragment dot set arguments and pass the bundle <coughs> and finally we have to return the fragment object from this method so here it is demo fragment 
Now go to the fragment. So here we have to display the message on this text view. So create some variables for text view. Uh, here create some variables for view class. And we have to return the view from here. So by using this view class object, uh, we can initialize the text view. So text view equal to view dom find the view by id or dot id txt display. Now we can get the message from the fragment. So string message uh, get arguments get string and specify the key. Here the key is message. Now we can display the message using the text to view. So text to view dot set to text and pass the message. Okay. So now go to main activity, open main activity, create variables for uh, view pager. And name it as view pager. Now we need the variable for the adapter. Uh, demo fragment collection adapter and unit as adapter so first we can initialize the view pager so view pager equal to find the view by id and dot id this pager now we can initialize the adapter so adapter equal to new adapter and you have to pass the support fragment manager finally we can set the adapter on the view pager so set adapter and pass the adapter that's it so now we can test the pro project so i'm going to run the project so now here the project available on this virtual device so here this is the first two page now here second page and here we have up to 100 pages so this is how we implement a swipe view using view pager. So the user can directly move it to next and previous page by simply uh, performing a horizontal swipe. I hope you the concept. For getting more Android tutorial updates, please subscribe the channel now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.